And oh. we're back. And, and we did it right. Wait, did you just... Did, did, <laughs> what did you say? Did you just what? say... Did you just say a swear? Did you, no. Did you just say a swear? You know, don't, don't say, say swear. Don't say swear. <laughs> Who was that? You can bleep that? that out. Who was that? Actually bleep that out. Actually bleep that was Germa. Uh, oh, was right. Germa. Germa. Again, when he was playing with Star and Boo from... Uh, 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 Germa is mad. Part two. <laughs> was it part two? It was part two. Yeah. We know. I, I'm part glad... one was where uh, Star was playing on an alt account. Oh right. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. He was trying to make a video. Um, yep. God, the fact that we can both. So okay, before we do this invasion, because it's going to take us a while to get our nuclear like program running. So before I do this invasion, uh, I'm going to just place my army here. And I'm going to wait until I get them upgraded at least one more time. So my cavalry, uh, Horsey McHorseface army, and yep. chariots part two. These guys need yep. to get upgraded to helicopters, which I'll get the advanced ballistics, Helicopter. nuclear fission, plastic Helicopter. materials. Um, but Helicopter. Yeah, yeah the, uh, the infantry units, they should be fine. Uh, the field cannons need to get upgraded to machine guns because. Do you been... like my helicopter? Are you? Are you good? I thought you were. I thought you were uh, referencing the uh, helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> that meme. Do you like my helicopter? What is this like? You sound like uh, Jimmy Gord from freaking Veggie Tales. Jimmy Gord. Yeah, Jimmy Gord. <laughs> Do you, you remember Jimmy Gord, right? I, I think he had a much higher pitched voice. I, do, are you just saying that? <laughs> yeah, no. What? Yeah, I can't. Was... Oh man, I don't remember what he sounds like. <laughs> I remember that he, the first time he was shown off, he was wearing later hosens, I think. What? I mean, I don't doubt it because, like. He was in a singing song. Oh, he was in a silly song. He was wearing, uh, he was wearing later hosens or something like that. I, we need to go back and watch that, bro. We need to go back and watch Veggie Tales. I have a friend, uh, oh, James, no. who is like traumatized from Veggie Tales. Oh, okay, wait. Veggie let me show Tales you this. Was, let me show you. This. I, I feel like okay, as a kid. Check this out. Check this out. Yeah. yeah. Random wooden ship in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. yeah. And they're gone. <laughs> Imagine you're out fishing, having a good time, and suddenly he has no idea what flight is, and we're just like, "All right, <laughs> fighters attack!" Um, oh my god! You count as an atomic era unit, which means you cannot buff him, so you're getting retired. All right, sorry. Can continue talking about Veggie Tales. What was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah. So I feel like if you watch Veggie Tales as a kid, right? Mm -hmm. It's the um, you know, good good life lessons kind of stuff. Sure. And you awesome. like watching it. The silly songs are cool. You yeah. know, all that good stuff. As an adult, <laughs> you get all the subtler jokes that they tell, but yeah. they're not like dirty jokes, obviously. I. But it's like, oh, that's funny because I know what that means. Now. It's funny <laughs> that one time where the, and I'm sure that you can find the clip online, but like, I'm from the IRS. Yes, exactly. Like, they didn't Let, break yeah. an IRS like, joke. Like, what? Kids aren't going to get that. Because, like, what the The kids don't pay taxes. <laughs> Larry is visited by a representative of the Internal Revenue Service. And he <laughs> slams the door in the dude's face. Like, I'm not talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't care who they say. I'm care not paying they... my taxes. <laughs> Where's that from? Where's that originally from? Um, Something Dan. Uh, I can't remember the name of the show. Dan versus. That's Dan versus. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah uh, Freaking. Like kids aren't gonna get that. Kids aren't gonna get jokes no, about no. the IRS. So let's throw it in for the parents who are watching. My another really good one was whenever they were talking. It was uh, what was it? The one that was parodying Moses. Uh. Um, oh god. Or is it? Oh, it's Josh and the Great Wall. Josh the great and the Big, big wall. wall. Right. Yeah. I remember that. And during one of the scenes, uh, Paw, what is it? Paw Grape, and I am grasping at straws here. Father Grape. 20 years since I've seen any of those. Right. Um, he 
It's talking about like, oh man, we should go back. We got three square meals a day. Oh yeah. Bathing in the Nile. It yeah. was great. And then one of the peas was like, we were in we, slavery. It was, it, was, uh, it was one of the grapes of wrath that said that. Yeah. We were in slavery. We were in slavery. <laughs> three square and Parker's meals like, so? a day. <laughs> Wow, oh that, my God. that poor guy just got shot. Oh, um, dude. Yeah, God, that was a that was a trip uh, down memory lane. VeggieTales was was a. They they also made a Lord of the Rings parody. Yes, yes they did. Lord of the Beans. Lord of the Beans. And I believe the villain in that episode was called Scary Man. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Which like, I get it, Saruman, but like. Scary, yeah. scary man, man. <laughs> <laughs> and all i can think is uh oh was it larry was playing as legolas i think the, uh, the parody the, of legolas the elf yep the yeah Archer. and they're walking up mount snowia which is also a hilarious name and he's just wearing like this humongous parka Oh, that, that covers, that covers his entire, entire face, yeah, and his body. Yeah, he's like, you should have brought your... I knew we were going to walk through the winter. Still warm. should have brought warmer clothes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who comes up with this kind of shit? I need to watch that stuff again, because those were... Those were you know really what I need to actually watch is funny. like proper Lord of the Rings. I've had yes. two opportunities to watch Lord of the Rings, par like, Every not parents, but like proper Lord have of the Rings. Have you actually watched through them proper? Um, I started to. Uh, one time was when I was 14 years old in a military hospital because I was at a on a military base in Texas, mm -hmm. and uh, I I was I think I injured my ankle, um, which like uh, you just had like, Jenny. No by the way, if you're watching this, like m me injuring my ankle goes way back. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> I I injure my ankle a lot, um, but yeah, no, I I, I had a. I think I sprained my ankle, and uh, I was in a military hospital recovering by, like, you know, not doing any sort of things, like, not moving. They're like, all right, sit here, <laughs> don't move, you're you're broken. Um, just sit here until you're better, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. And so I was sitting there, and the people in the military hospital were watching Lord of the Rings. I fell mm. asleep, because... You know, I was injured. That's and, lame. Like, yeah, so I didn't get to watch Lord of the Rings. Uh, also, they were watching, like... I don't know, man. It was like 12 hours of Lord of the Rings. Like By the time I woke up, they were still watching Lord of the Rings. I mean, Lord of the Rings, the extended cuts are each like three, three yeah, and a half say. hours. I'm not sure what version they were watching. It was long as balls, though. Like, it was just yeah, like... The oh, theatrical God. ones are like pushing three hours, and then the extended cuts That's are how long. like three, three and a half. Um, so... Uh, They're the, long. Uh, the second time was I... I was in, C I was on CQ duty, uh, charge of quarters duty for the uh, like for army stuff, which is essentially where you sit at a desk for a really like 24 hour period, and uh, you're a secretary. Let's go with that. Yeah. You're essentially on secretary duty for you know and, and like other crap, guard duty and crap like that, but you're sitting at a desk for 24 hours with not a whole lot to do. And the person who was sitting at the desk with me was watching TV, because uh, we had a flat screen TV in our office, and he put up oh, Lord, yeah. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I also fell yeah. asleep. <laughs> Dude, well, I, and now when you fell asleep on the job. I was, oh. okay. Because it's a 24-hour Did I report shift, that to the No, the no, no, no. We were allowed to take breaks. <laughs> our our uh, sergeant was allowed to dictate us, like, hey, you're allowed to take a break, uh... He was allowed to give us, I think it was up to a six hour break. Because it's 12 hour guard shift, and you have three people, and they're like, we don't need all three people, like, awake for all the time. Yeah, for yeah. the whole shift. So, you know, we'll, like, stagger some breaks so that you can go get some sleep because you still have work tomorrow, right? And yeah. uh, so during my six hour break, which was overlapping with him playing Lord of the Rings on TV, I freaking fell asleep in the middle of Lord of the Rings again. So, you know, Man. both times. I've fallen asleep, which I guess is a slight against the movies, but at the same time, I mean, I was also in situations where I was exhausted both times. Yeah. So. 
Well, so the best way to watch Lord of the Rings, do not try and watch them all at once. Right. Especially if you've never watched them before, because... don't try it. You will get bored. <laughs> um, uh, me, me knowing, like, I've read some of the books. I don't remember when. I think I was, I think I was on uh, CQ again, uh, but in drone school this time, uh, and I, I read some of the books. But uh, mm -hmm. like, Tolkien loves his world building, but it's yes. very slow. <laughs> It is very it, slow burn world building. Mm, and it's like, oh, can we get on with it, sir? <laughs> <laughs> so the the original three Lord of the Rings movies, mm. um, I don't recommend watching them all at once. Mm. You're going to want to pace yourself on Fellowship, the first one. Uh, okay. Because that's a lot of story setup. There's a lot of downtime, a lot of just characters talking. Uh, it's a it's a slow burn. Two Towers is my favorite. Mm -hmm. That's the second one. Um, that's where they go and battle with Sauron. Mm -hmm. Not Sauron, Sauron. Sauron. Yep. The the white wizard Sauron. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, you can't say that on YouTube. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Did I, yeah. Did I? Did I tickle uh -huh. your fancy there? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Please. You. <laughs> you. You. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So two towers is where they go fight Saruman and all that stuff. Um. Then you've got Return of the King, mm -hmm. which that one's like the big climax of the whole fight. Right. You know, Mordor and all that. Mordor. The, the the taking the ring to Mount Doom. Mm -hmm. So, it's a very long set of movies. Once you watch through them once, you can marathon them, but I never watch them the whole time. Mm. Like, I'll put it on. I will take a nap halfway through Fellowship. Mm. Like, how yeah, long, it's, it's... How long? like, if you wanted to watch all of the Lord of the Rings movies from back to front, or, or back to front, front to back, why would you watch it back to front? Uh... <laughs> You want to watch it from front to back, like, how long would that take? Like, how many hours? So, are you talking just the original three movies? Or are we putting in The Hobbit? Uh, uh, how much do you need to watch to get the full story? So, if you're watching just the original three, okay. that is a total combined 11 hours and 22 minutes. Sheesh. So, nearly four hours apiece. Sheesh. I don't know if, if I can you do are that. wanting to watch the Hobbit, all the Hobbit movies plus Lord of the Rings, mm. you're looking at 686 total minutes of runtime. How much? How or many? How many? Nearly hours? 21 hours. Oh my lord! Yeah. Okay. I can't do that. I. <laughs> I don't have the. I don't have the the, the 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 stamina for that kind of thing, man. Ooh. Like I. I don't tend to watch movies a lot. I know we were watching Pirates of the Caribbean recently. Um, yeah. But, like, those movies... I mean, even after watching a very high-paced movie like that, at the end of it, I'm still exhausted because... Well, and, like, when I mean exhausted, I mean, like, like burned out a bit. Because, sure. I don't know, it just... Movies are... It's a lot to consume, but it's also only presented in, like, this one... Like, medium, you watch it, you listen to it, but you don't interact with it like a video game, right? You, you, you're interacting right. with it. Um, right. The movie, you're just like... You're, you're just at absorbing. It. Yeah, uh, and and ha keeping my attention span open for that long is like being in a college lecture. But, you know, it's an entertaining class. There's no lecture. test at the end. What? What do you mean there's no test at the end? You guys are just like, did you catch the did you catch the fact that this person and that person are the same person? And I'm like, oh, no, I didn't. Shoot. I failed my Pirates of the Caribbean test. <laughs> like, Wait. Oh, you didn't realize that that was, uh... Like... Really? Really? Bro. You, you are exacerbating the problem here. You are just... <laughs> You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. I had to have that. What the fuck was that? You didn't realize that that was the same person that died in the first movie? 
I get it now because oh I had it God. pointed out to me. But in the moment, it was like, and when and when I when Blonde pointed that out to me, she was like, "You're an idiot." And I'm like, <laughs> now I feel so. Yes, there's a test at the end. Oh my God. <laughs> Yes, there's a. All right, I'll I'll start putting together a test for next week. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. That's gonna make me feel yeah. much better. Uh, money, money. Honestly, like, uh, all suits for money. Look at that. What's the name of the main pirate? Uh, uh, Jack Sparrow. I'm sorry, Captain Jack. Sparrow. Captain Jack yeah, Sparrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to put that in there. But yes, Captain Jack Sparrow is the main guy. Uh, the people. Who's his uh his first in command? Uh, Mr. Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Why, why am I getting quizzed now? I thought you said later you're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name oh of uh, Captain Barbosa's monkey? <laughs> it's like, uh, Jack? <laughs> it actually is Jack. Right. Uh, point being, you shouldn't quiz people about movies because, like, well, and you did this with the freaking Spider-Man movie, too. Like, right after... Hey, I got a what great What do you idea. mean? Right after the Spider-Man movie. So we watched the Which, Spider-Man The first one or the second one? Second one. Right after okay. we watched the Spider-Man movie, you we were, were like, did you get... Like, did you catch that, like, Miguel O'Hara's backstory had Peter B. Parker in it? And I'm like, no, I didn't catch that! Because, <laughs> like, it's freaking... It was like a half second... Th I was paying attention to the movie. I was... I was... Yes, there are tests at the end of movies. Don't pretend like there aren't. <laughs> you <laughs> freaking asshole. <laughs> but yeah, it, it really does. Um, Miguel O'Hara and Peter B. Parker are more intertwined in their stories than you. Yep, and I'm sure that's gonna get explained at some point uh, in like the third movie, which I'm stoked for. You know what I'm not stoked yeah, for? Yeah, it's is unfortunate getting... that it got delayed. You know what I'm not stoked for is getting grilled on the fourth movie when it or the third movie <laughs> when it comes out. Like, hey. You better frickin' pay attention, because I'm gonna call you dumb if you miss every single well, little detail. And There are certain movie series that it's very important <laughs> that you know what's going on. We've discovered a new source of shipwreck. Uh, 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 isn't what does like, that mean? Isn't it like just sailing in general a it's source of shipwreck? like a continuous shipwreck. shipwreck. <laughs> oh no. It's just the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> That's a new, yeah, it's a production source of shipwrecks. Oh my god. Alright, so, go ahead, t tell me, tell me, what were you talking about, about Spider-Man movies? Well, so, there are some movies where you can definitely just turn off your brain, right? They're just fun to watch. Yeah, I watched Nothing Over the Hedge real... last, uh, yesterday. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, Over the Hedge, you can just have fun with it, you know, not have to worry too much I'm about... I'm the president of a homeowners association! <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Dwayne, la fondant! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. Continue. I guarantee that there will not be a living thing at this party. Stella! <laughs> God, that... Uh, we're never gonna get anywhere. Are we talking about oh this crap? God. Sorry, sorry. Continue, please. Okay, so there's movies you can just turn off your brain, like that one. But then there are movie series where you definitely want to make sure you're paying attention to at least the big plot points. Mm. Otherwise, you're gonna get super lost on what's happening. Like Lord of the Rings, right. or the Spider-Man, um, Spider-Man trilogy, trilogy, or a lot of things like that. Hell, even the MCU nowadays, you have to really pay attention, or you have no idea what's Bro, going on. I stopped on. paying attention to the MCU after Endgame. A lot of people did. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't. Yeah, th this franchise has taken so much of my free time. <laughs> You can't just like dem what like next they're gonna demand a blood sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. Like you must convert to the Church of Captain Marvel. Actually, we're about to get the Black Knight, which is pretty cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not in the loop. Tell me about the Black Knight. The Black Knight is a character that existed in the comics, uh, where he was cursed by a sword that's like, you know, cursed, obviously, where it has to uh, very it eloquent has blood stick. Lust. I know, right? Uh, it has bloodlust, so you have to kill with it. However, okay. uh, while giving the owner like superhuman abilities of like power and strength and things like that, mm -hmm. um, it slowly kills the owner. Mm -hmm. So it's like that sword that we gave to Dante in D&D &D that he never used. Sanity dagger? 
Yeah, he never used it, but it still caused him to go insane when you had to fight him. Um, who's carrying that thing nowadays? Uh, don't know. You locked it up in a box and put it in a I, haversack. We locked. Like yeah, it might be in Sotar's inventory still. Oh, that's true. We can break it out and give it to um, Blair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Blair, check this out. It's a knife. Hey, check it out. It definitely won't make you turn insane. And oh half project. God. Let's go. Let's start researching. I still need to games. come up with a uh, thing for next Sunday. Uh huh. Hmm. Sorry, you were talking about the MCU, the Black Knight. Oh, I, I, I keep cutting oh, you yeah, off, yeah, man. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. A lot of the problem now with the MCU is that so many characters have been introduced, it's hard to keep track of them all. Yeah, and, like, TV shows and crap are happening. and They have spin-off series, TV shows. Not everyone is going intertwine. to keep up with the TV shows because not a, not everybody who watches the movies, movies watches TV. Movies TV shows. Yeah. yeah. So, well, um, especially because they're all on Disney+, Plus, and that's the only way you can watch them. Right. You're not going to get, so, like... The whole audience. Uh, the so only people... people that are still paying attention to the MCU are the MCU diehard fans. Yeah, and that ain't me. Like, there's still people that'll watch, like, the individual movies. Mm. But, like, for instance, the new... And it was a terrible movie, The Marvels. I haven't seen that one. Unless if you had seen both WandaVision and also um, the Miss Marvel show. I haven't seen that one either. Yeah, unless if you've watched both of those... You have no idea who these side characters are that suddenly team up with Captain Marvel. The Cold War. Right. Like, there's no idea who they are. It's just like, um, hey, look, random people that showed up, and you're just like, hi, I'm supposed to accept you as the canon an ally. Now? Yeah, yeah, like just some people that our main character, our beloved main character, played by Brie Larson, uh, is going Gosh. to. Be Okay, Brie Larson is a good actress, but in a few really bad roles. I, I, I don't know any of her work. I only know her from the Marvels, do you tell? Uh, Brie Larson also played in quite a few other shows. I can't remember the name of them. I don't really follow her that. career, but... Uh... I like, because, like, uh, I didn't... And, and again, I don't follow, like, movie stuff, like, at all. Um, yeah. So if I know an actor or actress, it's either because they're like a meme, like Nicolas Cage, uh, <laughs> or because they're, I don't know, really hot, like Kira Knightley. She was also in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, or okay. Saves the World, vs. the World, whichever. Uh, she was in Community. She was a character on Community. Okay. I, I don't know what um, that is. She was in Goodwill Hunting, I do remember that. I do know what that is, yeah. And, oh, no, she, right, she was in Green Lantern. <laughs> the one with oh, Ryan sorry. Reynolds and the, the horrible yes. CGI mask? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love how much they poked fun at uh, at that in, in Deadpool. Uh, yes, and speaking of which, I am so ready for the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. When is that coming? July? Out? July? July. Gotta watch it. Yep, end of July. I mean, we're, we're not gonna be able to watch it for a while. I'm gonna be able to watch it for a while, but, yeah. yeah. A couple months. Uh, that one I'm looks going nice. to theaters to see it. That you're I, going to theaters, okay. Yes, I enjoy the character of Deadpool because he is so out of the norm. Uh, he's and the very. Fact that he's also super charismatic. Ryan Reynolds is just a very charismatic actor in general. Right. So he's really fun to watch. Right. Uh. Yeah. Um. The Deadpool movies, like, at least the first one. That one kind of set the standard for, like, the, I guess, like, the new edgy movie. The new edgy superhero movie. Yeah, like, you know, hey, th this ain't your mama's superhero movie yeah. <laughs> type thing. Uh, where they just make a bunch of dick jokes. And, uh, yeah. But also, like, the action was really good. The fight choreography was really good. And the story is actually really good, too. Yeah, it's a love story. Well, like he says, it's a love the story. The second movie. No, the second movie is a love story. The sec I thought the first movie was a love story too. Man's was it? Yeah, oh, maybe it was. Rock. It was. He was um, fighting to get his girlfriend back from. Right. Yeah. The first one was the love story. The second one was also a love story. The second was a revenge story. But it was also about family. Yeah, because you never turn your back on family. It's a movie about family. Because <laughs> <laughs> you never turn your back on family. That was that. Oh, that's uh, right. Because he says this is a family movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, it certainly full, was not. Full disclosure, I haven't seen the second one. 
Real oh, we gotta watch it now. Mm. God, the amount of movies that end up on my we gotta watch it now list are too many to count. Yep. But at the same time. But I we mean, should also take a break. We should. We've been at this for a while. Uh, yeah. All right, let me give a real quick status update on our invasion. So, yes. we have researched a nuclear fission. We yes. are gaining three uranium per turn, which will be used for our nuclear bombs. And we are researching... You've got that Manhattan project going, right? Yeah, we've got the Manhattan project completing in four turns. Four turns once that's nukes! Once, well, okay, once that's completed, I'll have to create Build an nukes. actual nuclear device. But I do have a okay. bomber... Once sitting... you complete Manhattan, forget all other production... Just nukes. It, like every single every city, city is going to develop nukes. I don't think I have enough <laughs> uranium for that. I have another source of uranium right here, but like, I don't think I'm gonna have enough uranium for that. Oh, there's some more up here. I can get, grab some. Yes, more uranium. Actually, yeah. I love it. Before I forget, let me actually just search for uranium here. Uranium. Oh my god. Um, why is that in caps? Uh, we is got one your cap there. Lock is on. We got those two. Yeah, okay, that's all the uranium on this continent. That's it. Guy. So, what we're probably... You need more. Come on. I mean, it's, I've got this force over here that is getting upgraded. Next turn, I'll have helicopters. Um, so, this force is going to become modernized. And then once the yeah. Manhattan Project and the nuclear bomb is ready, we should be able to set out... So, we're, like, we might be wrapping up this series the next time that we hit record. It, well, maybe. Because, again, we're four turns away from producing the Manhattan Project... Once yeah, we create the nuke, like, it's over for these guys. It's over. It's um, over. It, yeah, it's, it's over. We we fly in, drop a nuke, use the fighters Roll to up. mop up some defenses, and then roll in with a destroyer, and that's that's Poland out. And then the land invasion, which might actually take a little, a little bit longer, longer. Um, because, you know, land warfare is slower than nuclear bomb. Devastation, yeah. But, like, you know, and that's it. Then, then we're done. That's so, yeah. yeah. Cool. Also, they have a barbarian battleship. Battleship? <laughs> Where wait, did you wait, guys get wait, that? Wait. <laughs> the barbarian battleship. So, you know, casual barbarian battleship. Some pirates stole a battleship. I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. All right, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take a break. We will drop some nuclear bombs and crap next time. Oh, boy. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Tactical nuke incoming. Boo-dap, boo-dap, boo-dap.